Jan Kom. Jan Kom, Ukrainian, born Yen Borisovic Kum, Ukrainian, on February 24, 1976, is a Ukrainian-American billionaire businessman and computer programmer. He is the co-founder and former CEO of WhatsApp, a mobile messaging app which was acquired by Facebook in 2014 for 19.3 billion US dollars. According to Forbes, he has an estimated net worth of 15.2 billion US dollars as of October 2023, making him one of the richest people in the world. Combe was ranked 44th on the Forbes list of richest Americans in 2023 with a net worth of 15.1 billion dollars. Early Life Yen Borisovic Kom was born in Kiev, then in the Ukrainian SSR, on February 24, 1976 into a Jewish family. He grew up in Fastiv. In 1992, at the age of 16, he moved with his mother and grandmother to Mountain View, California, for a social support program helped the family get a small two-bedroom apartment there. His father had intended to join the family later, but he never left Ukraine and died in 1997. Home and his mother remained in touch with his father until his death. At first, his mother worked as a babysitter while he worked as a cleaner at a grocery store. His mother died in 2000 after a long battle with cancer. Career By the age of 18, Combe had become interested in computer programming. He enrolled at San Jose State University and simultaneously worked at Ernst & Young as a security tester. He also joined W00W00, a computer security think tank started in 1996, where he met future Napster creators Sean Fanning and Jordan Ritter. In 1997, Combe met Brian Acton while working at Ernst & Young. Later that year, he was hired by Yahoo as an infrastructure engineer. He quit school shortly thereafter. Over the next nine years, Combe and Acton worked at Yahoo together. In September 2007, they left and took a year off, traveling around South America and playing Ultimate Frisbee. Both applied to work at Facebook but were rejected. In January 2009, Combe bought an iPhone and realized that the then seven-month-old app store was about to spawn a whole new industry of apps. He visited his friend Alex Fishman, and they talked for hours about Combe's idea for an app. Combe almost immediately chose the name WhatsApp because it sounded like, what's up? A week later, on his 33rd birthday, he incorporated WhatsApp Incorporated in California. WhatsApp was initially unpopular, but its fortunes began to turn after Apple added push notification ability to apps in June 2009. Combe changed WhatsApp to ping users when they received a message, and soon afterward he and Fishman's Russian friends in the area began to use WhatsApp as a messaging tool, in place of SMS. The app gained a large user base, and Combe convinced Acton, then unemployed, to join the company. Combe granted Acton co-founder status after Acton managed to bring in $250,000 in seed funding. On February 9, 2014, Zuckerberg asked Combe to have dinner at his home, and formally proposed Combe a deal to join the Facebook board. Ten days later Facebook announced that it was acquiring WhatsApp for 19 billion US dollars. Over the first half of 2016, Combe sold more than 2.4 billion dollar worth of Facebook stock, which was about half of his total holdings. In April 2018, Combe announced that he was leaving WhatsApp and stepping down from Facebook's board of directors due to disputes with Facebook. It was originally thought that by leaving he was forfeiting his unvested stock, worth almost $1 billion. However, several months later it was discovered that he was still formally employed by Facebook, earning a reported $450 million in stock from the company through a method called Rest and Vest. Philanthropy in 2014, Combe donated $1 million to the FreeBSD Foundation and close to $556 million to the Silicon Valley Community Foundation, SVCF. In 2016, the FreeBSD Foundation received another $500,000. Further donations from the Combe Family Foundation included $750,000 in 2018 and $500,000 in 2019. 
To support relief efforts during the 2022 Russian-Ukraine war, Comb donated $17 million to the European Jewish Association and $10.6 million to the Federation of Jewish Communities of the CIS. Known for his conservative political views, Comb has made donations to right-wing Israeli causes, $600,000 to the Maccabee Task Force, $6 million to Friends of I.R. David, and $175,000 to Central Fund of Israel. In 2022, he donated $2 million to APAC during the Democratic Party primaries. Cohn has also donated to two universities, $1 million to Fordham and $41 million to Stanford. Around 2024, he donated $250,000 to a committee supporting the candidacy of Daniel Lurie for mayor of San Francisco. Personal Life Comb is Jewish. He dislikes being called an entrepreneur and once tweeted, next person to call me an entrepreneur is getting punched in the face by my bodyguard. He feels that he is not an entrepreneur because entrepreneurs are motivated by the desire to make money, whereas he has said that he only wants to build useful products. In February 1996, a restraining order was granted against Comb in state court in San Jose, California. An ex-girlfriend detailed incidents in which she said Comb verbally and physically threatened her. In October 2014, Comb said about the restraining order, I am ashamed of the way I acted and ashamed that my behavior forced her to take legal action. 